Well, thanks again for the pirate room. I can think of 46 other spouses that are also gonna love that. And you're about as close as we have to a pirate here in Stardew Valley. You're just maybe not quite as smart. Life can be tough. You have no idea. We're about to get married. And we're gonna get engaged right in front of my ex-wife. We got divorced literally yesterday. But she did give me the coolest pirate room ever, so you'll get to enjoy that for at least a few days. I really miss my wedding skipper mod. It would save me like 20 minutes over the course of this video. So, do you like fish eggs? Honestly, I doubt you even know what these are, but let's see if you like them. Thanks. Oh, he seems happy enough. And whatever makes him happy obviously makes me happy. We have five lava eels and five sturgeon, both of which want pretty rare and valuable stuff, so they're not getting that. And Dismorn liked the pirate room so much, he's all the way up to 14 hearts already. You only get a hat though if you actually live here. I can hardly wait to see him try to form a sentence. Hey mums, before you head out. I hate to ask this, but can I have $5,000? What are you, one of my fish ponds? It's for a secret project I'm working on. I know we have a joint bank account, but I thought I should ask anyway. Yeah, I only have like $400 trillion. If you come back with goddamn magic beans, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to drown you in the fish pond and bury you in the farm. Doing by the saloon on Sunday and I'll show you the end result. I can't wait. I'll always wonder what goes on in that very simple mind. It's Sunday, I should swing by the saloon. You know it's gonna be good when they have to give you an update on it. Oh look at that, I'm already here. What a coincidence. Big play! Alex, did you just buy a TV for $5,000? I could've just taken it from George, you can't even walk. Hey mums, you made it! Yeah, I sure did. So what do you think? I don't really know what you bought for $5,000, but I think you should get your money back. I've been thinking, you know how I used to dream of being an athlete someday? No. Well, my life ended up turning out a bit different. I'm happy though, don't get me wrong. But I thought it would be cool to have a place where us guys could hang out and watch a Sunday game. Gus liked the idea so much he offered me part of his back room for only $5,000. What a generous guy. This way, I get to keep part of the dream alive in a small way. Yes, you get to watch sports on Sunday. You did good, son. I could watch this at home. A coming here makes me feel young again. Okay, we spent $5,000 to make wheels happy. This isn't gonna work. Not one bit. I'm happy for an excuse to get out of the house and take my mind off things. Yeah, don't worry about that family you abandoned. Might not be good for Shane's liver. What gives you that impression? The fact he's a raging alcoholic? Don't worry, Shane. Nobody cares anyway. It seems the guys have a new Sunday tradition. 5,000 gold well spent. That wasn't my opinion. Since he has any room to live in anyway, he probably won't even notice he doesn't live in mine anymore. In fact, he probably got lost on his way from my house to the saloon. Do me a favor and check the mail before you go. Thanks again for the money, mumps. It was a fun project for me and all the guys seem happy with it. The best $55,000 I've ever spent. Good night. Pretty dark in this room. I know a mopey little vampire that's just gonna love it. Oh, don't worry. I'll bring my services to you. You're probably making a lot of money on your farm, huh? I have to. My bills are almost $50,000 a day. Luckily, weddings are free. I'll see you in three days. Nice. They let me wear my hat. I kind of like how people stop showing up to my weddings. That makes it easy to know who my next victim is. You didn't touch any of my stuff, did you? Hey, do we have pizza in the freezer? I'm hungry. Oh, should I know? And I don't care. I'll see you later. Also, what is this? Hello? Abigail took a life to save mine. I'll never forget that. We made a monument to honor her murder? I've killed like 6,000 people. No one makes me a statue. If I kill Sebastian here, can I get a statue for that? Hey, mums, glad you showed up. I'm not. There's an injured frog in that bush. I gotta save him. Okay, but does that need to involve me? Go over to that bush and try and get him to come towards me. I'll wait over here and catch him. Yeah, okay. Okay, you ready? To shake a bush? Probably. Okay, here we go. And the frogs are gonna probably run right past him. Got him. Congratulations. You caught an injured frog. Are you proud? Poor little guy. His foot's all mangled. It was probably Abigail. She's been on a thing lately. It's our new son. Can we keep the frog and have him as a child? Yeah, I guess so. He's definitely got your nose and your sunny disposition on life. Let's take him home. I bet he'd go great on rice. So... Where's our frog? You're worse at taking care of children than I am. And I try to get rid of them, but at least I get them in the house at least once. So remember that frog you saved yesterday? Need something? I'll just be over here working on my bike for a while. Technically, the frog is a kid, right? But apparently not really. I'll give you two of these if you get rid of Sebastian. Would have been a lot cheaper than a $50,000. I think the game's punishing me for being me because my cursor disappears every time I close the menu. So that doesn't make it super easy to play. Never mind, I just kind of got into screenshot mode. But speaking of drunken mistakes, where is Shane today? I mean, actually, he's not at his house and the saloon is closed. Is he here the whole time? He blends in so well. You think it's a coincidence that your name is basically Shame? Do you ever feel like the whole world is scrutinizing you like some disgusting insect? No, but in your case, they are. Maybe it's time I change it to Captain Mum. Are you sober enough to make me breakfast? I'm going out today, all right? Jane, I've known you for a day and a half. I don't care what you do. You, that was fun. You're an inspiration to us all. You truly are. Haven't had a session like that in a while. You really take after your mom, don't you? 
I'm all sweaty, better head back home. Oh no, this doesn't look good. He's heading directly towards Pam. He's gonna sense how drunk he is and then consume him, hoping to get a secondhand drunk. Mumps, you better keep your eye on him. Next time you catch him coming out of the saloon, you should say something. Because you've clearly been too busy to do that for the past 220 years. But this is my problem now. Sure. Two days in a row. Nice work, Shane. Hey, I was just on my way home. I could tell since you're only either at the saloon or home. He seems confused. Were you drinking? No. Why would you think that? Because you walked out of the saloon? Drunk? Are you seriously going to make me drag this out for three days? Three days of hard events. I'm very busy. This could have been two more divorces. Oh, are we going to try and stop him before he goes in? Okay, I'm ready for another round. Again, just like his mom. All right, we've got him in the act. Let's confront him. Take a deep breath. This is what you spend your time on. Getting drunk and playing video games. I'm jealous. Oh, didn't know I had an audience. You know what they say, it's hard to look away from a train wreck. This is what you've been doing in here? Yeah, what did you think? Have you been continuing your hundreds of years of alcoholism? I'm completely addicted to this game. I can't help but play round after round. While you're at it, could you get the achievement for me? Because it's pretty hard to do. I've even reached a number three spot in a global leaderboard. You might say I'm one of the best. But these cans. Yeah, because only alcohol can be served in cans. It's Joji Cola. I know, it's bad for the teeth, but it helps me focus. Right. Wait, did you guys think I was drinking beer? In a saloon? Don't be ridiculous. Mumps, I told you I hadn't been drinking. And I told you I'm not going to divorce you tomorrow. We were worried. I'm your husband. You should trust me. I've always been honest with you about my problems. I know I haven't been able to quit cold turkey, but I'm trying my best and I'm getting a lot healthier. My life is better now than it's ever been. I'm not in such a dark place anymore. Yeah, let me help you with that. You know, when I'm playing this game, I become so focused that I can't think about anything else. It really helps when I've got the urge. Anyway, I'll just play one more game and head home. Yeah, you do whatever it is you want to do. There will be no sober people in my house. Oh, we get a festival today. This should be fun. Hey, so remember when I divorced you? What are you doing here? Just leave me alone. But do you remember? What about you? I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. No, I said you're special. I'll be fine on my own. Well, this isn't as fun as I thought. So don't ask how this happened, but it's the next day and I'm still here at the fair. I really should have paid attention at the last wedding. I have no idea who's left. You'll do. Good morning, sunshine. Hey, something smells good. Like pizza. It's 9.30 in the morning and I'm in your bed. I'll tell you what, you can come over and have pizza for breakfast at my house for one whole day. No, you should feel special. I've only got like three people left to marry. And I might keep you for more than a day if you compliment the pirate room. I made you some instant pancakes. Enjoy. The garbage can probably will. What? I never learned to cook? Mom always did that. Oh boy, an inside event. Here's what I wanted. Hey mums, you look like you've been working hard out there. It's 6.10am, idiot. I was just thinking, don't do that. You know, I really like living here with you. I mean, I love it. I can't say that feeling's mutual. But I really feel like I've gotten lazy. I just bum around aimlessly every day. Well, I mean, so do I. Oh, I know you don't mind. You make enough money on a farm that I really don't need to work. And I really appreciate that. I've never once said that. You need to start earning some. I want to feel like I'm contributing to something. Know what I mean? Yes, I do. I think I'm going to try to find some work. Something to do with music. Yeah, I have imaginary jobs sometimes too. That's always been what I love the most. Besides you, of course. Don't care. Eh. Anyways, I'll let you know how it goes. You're actually gonna make me take up multiple days on you. That better be a pile of money in your hands. Hey mums, listen to this. Dear Sam, we are pleased to offer you the position as junior composer at Zuzu Broadcasting Group, TV division. Oh, wow, music for a TV show. How cool is that? Does that mean you're moving to Zuzu City? Hold on. It's a TV show for little kids. The Happy Junimo Show. Yeah, intellectually, that's probably a little too advanced for you. Not exactly what I had in mind. Neither are you, yet here you are in my house. Just, I'm sorry that you're here at all. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll make the best of it, like I always do. Yeah, you're pretty good at that. I guess I'd better start thinking like a kid. Oh, you should go spend some time with Haley. That should be easy for you. But also, you are quite stupid. Damn, we're all the way into winter and I'm still dealing with your stupidity. Hey, mums, I'm making progress on a song. Check it out. Better hurry. Like I said, it is winter. Wow, that sounds great. It almost makes me wish I had my music turned on. It's kind of bare bones, but when I add in all the different instruments, it'll come together. You'll see. I believe in you, not at all. You know, I'm not too upset about this kid show idea anymore. Neither am I, because it's going to get you out of my house. You gotta start somewhere, right? That's why you're here. And hey, maybe it'll be a big hit in children's concert circuit. Four days. Four days of this, and you brought kids into the house. I'm really excited, Sam. As the kid that eats bugs. Okay, gonna put on a song right away. You gotta listen really close. 
Tell me if you like it afterwards, okay? Yeah, I can already tell you that's not gonna happen. Well, the Junimos are certainly happy. Which is strange, considering they're on a television. If you want to hear the music, you're just gonna have to go ahead and play this hard event for yourself. Jazz loved it. Other kid loved it. I wasn't expecting such an overwhelming response from two children that are pretty much related to you. That's great. This is really fun. Not for me, it's not. Can you get the children out of my house before I turn them into doves? Thanks for all your support with this. I didn't really. You know, I kind of like making children's music. It's not very glamorous, but I'm happy making the kids happy. I wanted to give you this. It's a boombox with this song on it. You can listen to it whenever you want. This is just going to turn into my trophy room. I'd say I'm going to miss you, but I'm not. Oh, don't worry. I'm here for your sister. Hello, whatever your name is. You just got engaged. What are you thinking? I got engaged to you, idiot. I want to get double married so we can get double divorced. Don't touch my tractor or anything in the pirate room. You have your own room. I found this in my scrap pile. Think you could find a good use for it? You're giving me food out of your garbage pile. You can eat this whole damn thing and I'm gonna watch. This is a super gift. Thank you. I made it just for you. Conveniently, we can't do your heart event in winter. Two weeks later, you're officially my longest running spouse ever. It's wonderful to see all the plants and animals come back to life during spring. We are such opposites. Tomorrow, a rare astronomical event is happening. A comet is passing very close to Earth. I was thinking maybe we should observe it together. I didn't agree to that. Meet me in the mountains at midnight tomorrow night. Thanks for clarifying. I thought you meant midnight at noon. If it rains, we'll do it on the next night. The comet is here for a few days, well that's awfully convenient. Looks like clear sailing to me. You didn't see anything about snowing. Now we need to wait all the way till midnight and go all the way to the mountain. Like my hat? Hi, welcome. You think we would have came here together because we're married and live together. You made it just in time. The comet's about to appear. Anytime now. I'm waiting. Beautiful night, isn't it? As long as you're not in frame. Remember the first time we did this? It was a while ago. Legitimately probably a few hundred years. And no, I don't. I almost revealed my true feelings on that night, but I was afraid you'd reject me. I'm still going to. Who knew we'd be married so soon after? It's only been like 400 years. It's time. Yeah, let's see this comet. It's so special. Did you bring a telescope for me or... Oh, here we go. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Those hit the farm sometimes. The fields probably actually follow them if you want to go see those. You get a real close look. It's magnificent. Does it do anything? A rare wonder of the cosmos. Please land in the field. I want that ore. Here for one fleeting moment on its infinite journey. So empty. So lonely. Wow, this is depressing. Just like Maru. It makes me glad to live on the vibrant world with you. He is not going to handle the divorce very well at all. After seeing a comet, it's customary to make a wish. Right where science meets make-believe. What will you wish for? Don't want one of those. Don't want that. I'll take that. Money? Oh, well, I need more money. I don't want to run out. My wish is a little more romantic. Well, divorce is expensive, and you don't just get magic wishes because a comet goes overhead. As a scientist, I'm disappointed in you. I mean, do you see all these shooting stars? Think of all the wishes we'd get. I haven't been entirely honest with you. What I wished for was a swift divorce the very next day. Getting quite a collection of people. We need to figure out who's even left. Dr. Boring and Elliot. We can make that work. All right, let's make this quick. I don't have a lot of time. It's a lot of work being a doctor. I don't eat as well as I should. You can eat this. Pretty thing crowd, Harvey. I guess no one wants to come to your wedding. Good luck. Please be a one day event. Now the winter's over, we've got lots of protective weather to look forward to. Yep, I make the best of every single season on my farm. What are your thoughts on fish eggs? Because I don't really know what else to do with these. That's very kind of you. Is he actually making food? He might be my favorite already, if it's something useful. He's not a very good cook, but he's also not a very good doctor. I mean, look what happened to wheels. So... He's adding things in my fridge? I don't think he wants to do that. They've been in there a while. Some of this. Harvey, can we get to the point here? Presto, you're right on time. Conveniently, suspiciously, let me just set the table. We probably need a table, by the way. Oh, okay. We'll just do it in the pirate room. I'm not against his choice one bit. You've been working so hard in the farm. I wanted to make you a special dinner. Everyone falls for me so fast. It's my very own angel hair something with clams. It tastes... I don't know what's worse, his mustache or his fungus. Probably his mustache. I guess a piece of my mustache may have fallen into the pasta. That's the most appetizing goddamn thing I've ever thought of. Extra fiber, right? Sorry, honey. As a doctor, you should know that's not how that works. But great. Tell me about your day. Well, I woke up, skipped time to this event. I can't remember. I have amnesia. I think my ex-husband or wife might have wiped my memory. I have that problem too. The boundary between days can blur together. It's hard to keep track of everything. As a doctor, that's alarming. I'm stuffed. That was great. I didn't eat any because it's... 
Not good. I'll take care of the dishes. Yeah, why don't you get your mustache in that too? Don't feel bad. I like to do nice things for you. It makes me happy. I know I say this a lot, but marrying you was the best thing that ever happened to me. Too much mustache. And finally, it comes to this. The only person in Stardew Valley with a work ethic to match mine. The sweet friction of pen and paper is the music of my soul. I was just saying the exact same thing. Got up again in my house. Also, if you could bring your own bed, that would be cool. Well, he did at least bring his own boat. When you leave, you need to keep the boat here. I've had this recurring nightmare that you gave me a buzz cut. You would never do that to me, would you? I absolutely would. I trust you. That's how you ended up in this mess in the first place. I see you're contributing to the farm quite nicely. I've just received the most exciting news. I don't care. It's a very short notice, but I've been invited to do a reading tour for my book, The Rise and Fall of Planet Yazo. That sounds terrible. Please don't ever make me read that. I'll be out of town for a week. Will you be okay? That is exciting news. I'll be happy as a clam. Good one. Now don't get too excited. Oh, you'd be lucky to have a home to come to. Oh, you'd be lucky to have a home to come back to after a week. I leave early tomorrow morning, and he's going to write me every day for a week. Have you seen the mailbox? There's 400 years of mail stockpiled here. I'm not going through all this. I'm sure the letters are great and all. I'll just see you in a week. So, you're back, but there's no event. Never mind. Here it is. I thought I was the only one that watched people sleep. Mumps, I'm back. Was kind of hoping you would get lost. I've missed you. One drop of the big city, and I'm quenched. I much prefer being back here with you. I guess it's back to the old routine once again. You stand in the kitchen and do nothing. I've got some chores to catch up on. I would like an updated list of that. That was a great heart event. It was so short and sweet. Mostly because I was just unwilling to read these. Clearly, he doesn't get me at all. There's no way I'm reading letters for a week. This feels much better. 